This is the tiny island of Gullholmen in the west coast of Sweden. I first saw this drone shot on Instagram a few years ago and I knew I just had to go there and capture it for myself. So I packed my drone and my camera and went there last summer in 2023. But back in January this year, it was snowing like crazy here in Sweden. Det är nederbörd och det är snöfall på många håll. Våren? När kommer den? So I was thinking, why not go back there and take my drone for another flight? But this time while the island was covered in snow. Technically, this small island is part of a bigger island called Gullholmen. And it's just a short boat trip to get there. And once you get to the island, it's just a short walk to get to the bridge that connects the two islands. The tiny red houses along the water are really characteristic of the Swedish archipelago. And this is a great place to take some really nice looking photos. So apparently the reason why the houses are built so close to each other with practically no distance to your nearest neighbor is because the island used to be owned by a government. So you could just start building a house wherever there was open space. So naturally people started building houses really close to each other. I don't know if I personally would like to live that close to my neighbors, but at least you get to live on a really cool looking island. This place isn't really flocked with tourists and most of the people that I saw there were locals and that's what I think at least. And as a result of this, the boats don't travel that often between the main island and Gullholmen. So if you're unlucky and you miss your boat, you might have to wait up to two hours for the next one. So even though it was really nice to walk around and look at the houses, I didn't want to miss my boat back to the mainland. So I had to get out of business and do what I went there to do, which was to fly the drone. It's a little bit tricky to find an area that is big enough to take off from since the houses are built so close to each other. But I knew from last summer that there is a fairly open place uh, on the main island where you can fly from. After I eventually managed to navigate my way back to the spot, it was finally time to set my drone up and capture some sweet shots from the sky. I hope you enjoyed this short vlog. I'm planning on making more videos like this. So if you want to join me in the next video, then maybe you would be interested in subscribing. Thanks for watching this one and I hope to see you next time.